one of the questions I get asked a lot is how to route the individual sounds from Groove Agent SE or Groove Agent to independent channels within our Cubase mixer. Now, a lot of people aren't aware of how flexible the mixing inside of the plugin is. So each sound within Groove Agent could have four bands of parametric EQ, compression, tape saturation, as well as an envelope shaper for transients. Each channel also has access to four auxiliary sends, and each of these auxiliary sends can be chosen from 29 different high quality plugins. We also have four inserts for the kit and four inserts, again, from the same pool of plugins for the master section. But if you wanted to actually see the individual sounds to route through third party plugins, the first thing we would need to do is to activate multiple outputs. So as I would play back currently, we can see everything's routed to a stereo output in my Cubase mixer. To activate multiple outputs, go to the instrument rack and you can click on this icon towards the right hand side and this will pull up your outputs window. So now I could activate all of my outputs and you see that my mixer has grown. If you don't have the instrument rack handy, you could also just from the inspector, if you go to the MIDI output port over to the right, you could turn on or off your individual outputs there. So if we're playing back our project and we wanted to now route these individual drums to different outputs of our mixer, I would go to the instrument and click on the mixer and we can see right above where the meters are. If we click there, we can now route our kick to output two, our snare to output three, our hi-hats, and we can just kind of go down the line. We'll say our toms, our room mics, our overheads, etc. So this way we can route these individual drums to independent mixer channels, and that allows me to run it through third-party plugins. If we wanted to do this with a beat agent kit, one kit that doesn't look like a traditional visual image of a drum set, I'm gonna go ahead and this process will be slightly different, but the same concept. So I'm gonna go ahead and load a kit with patterns here. And now we have our beat agent kit. So where this is, instead of seeing the visual image of the drum set, we have our samples here. So now, as soon as I click on a pad, I could route that individual sample out to different outputs here. So if I wanted to play this, So you can see how flexible it is, not only having the internal processing, but the ability to have up to 16 stereo outputs for your beat agent and acoustic agent kits within the Groove Agent, make it for a very flexible system for effects processing. Uh, if you like this video, please feel free to uh, give it a like and feel free to subscribe to our channel.